Okay. So first, what is uh, GNU-PG? Uh, GNU-PG uh, or uh, GNU Privacy Guard is a complete and free implementation of Open uh, PGP standard. It allows you to encrypt and sign your data and uh, communications. GNU-PG has scads of options which make it flexible and powerful encryption uh, framework. However, this also makes it uh, extremely complicated to get started with and that uh, quite reason, reason uh, puts people off. So uh, I've tried to use GNU-PG since a long time, spent a lot, lo uh, lot of time uh, reading the detailed and compl complicated tutorials, ma manuals, etc. and still I find my myself lost when trying to use uh, GNU-PG. Some of, of the things that make uh, GNU-PG uh, difficult, in my opinion, are the GNU-PG command is monolithic, bloated with functionality and options, the docs are not clearly structured, uh, the number of commands and options is uh, huge, there is no clear distinction between the commands and the options. The supported use cases are not so clear. Uh, it tries to support everything, and the terminology, terminology is a bit uh, confusing and uh, counterintuitive. Now, what is Easy GNU PG? Easy GNU PG is a wrapper script uh, that aims to simplify the process of using uh, GNU PG. Uh, and the idea is that the more people use uh, strong uh, encryption, the better is for everyone. Uh, Easy GNU-PG uh, tries to offer a simpler interface with much less uh, commands and options, better, organization, uh, better organized and structured, with a more intuitive uh, terminology, with a modular, modular uh, construction that is also easy to customize, adapt, and extend. Easy GNU-PG is opinionate, op opinionated. Uh, in order to, simplif to simplify things, Easy GNU-PG is op opinion opinionated about the right way to use uh, GNU-PG. This means that while uh, GPG offers uh, lots of uh, options and flexibility to perform a certain task, uh, eGPG uses just a sensible default way in order to keep things uh, sim simple and not to be bewilder the user with countless choices. For example, when you create a new key in GPG, you have to specify a lot of options, most of uh, which make no sense for a beginner, so they will just use the defaults anyway. EGPG, on the other hand, just asks for a name and an email address, filling up the rest with uh, reasonable default values. Not, on, not only that, but it also goes on and uh, generates automatically the needed subkeys according to well-known recommendations and uh, best practices uh, of using GPG. Or when encrypting a file, it also automatically signs it, encrypts it uh, to the author as well, and generates uh, the output uh, in the text format, ASCII armored, armored, which is more universal than uh, the binary format. Uh, this simplicity makes it easier for the beginners uh, to get started. At the same time, the selected subset of uh, operations and features covers most of the common uh, cases of usage, so hopefully it should be sufficient uh, for the everyday needs of most of the user, users. eGPG integrates seamlessly with uh, GPG. Uh, in case users need to use some, to use some advanced features of, uh, or commands which are uh, not suited, uh, supported uh, by eGPG, they can, they can go on and use GPG itself at any time because eGPG also integrates seamlessly with uh, GPG. So the reduced set of supported uh, operations and features, while being convenient for everyday usage, does not limit or prevent users from doing more advanced or complex things. For example, if you want to do some extra editing uh, to the key, which uh, can't be done with eGPG due to its limited set of functionality, uh, you can do it uh, like this, uh, eGPG and then uh, GPG, and then the rest is uh, GPG uh, options and commands. So uh, GPG is executed as a subcommand of uh, eGPG, and this uh, makes sure, uh, ensures that uh, it uses the same environment, uh, which is uh, GNU-PG home as uh, eGPG. So uh, the command that is executed actually is GPG, but uh, it uses the environment of uh, eGPG. Also, when initiating uh, a new eGPG environment uh, with the command uh, eGPG in it, you can migrate all the data f from an existing uh, GPG or eGPG environment uh, with the command eGPG migrate, or you can fetch pick up only certain keys or uh, contacts, uh, public keys. Uh, for example, eGPG key fetch and then uh, the ID, 
of the uh, key. Uh, EGPG, contact search, and then the ID of the pub public key. EGPG has a clear, has a clear and intuitive terminology. One of the things that confuses people while using GPG is the overloaded and unclear terminology about keys, about signatures, etc. Et EGPG tries to improve this by making a clear distinction between the private keys and the pub public keys. In EGPG, there is only one uh, primary key which is used for signing uh, and the sub key which is used for decry decryption. All the public keys are called contacts since uh, they contain the names and e email addresses of the people that you, uh, that you use to communicate. I either send them encrypted messages or verify their signatures. If you say public key to a beginner, you will also have to explain to him some crypto cryptographic uh, details and how public keys uh, should be used. But if you say contact, everybody gets that uh, it, it contains uh, details that uh, enable and facilitate communication. Also, it, it makes more sense when you certify and trust a contact rather than editing a key and, and uh, changing its uh, certification, certification and trust levels. EGPG is transparent and auditable, uh, being built as a set of cell, uh, shell scripts. Uh, EGPG is quite transparent and auditable, different from uh, GUI, for example, uh, or web service. If you are concerned, concerned about uh, what it does, open up the files and read them, or have some, someone you trust uh, read them. The size of the main script is less than uh, 250 lines, uh, well within uh, the understanding reach of most of the users. Uh, most of the commands are implemented uh, on their own script, and uh, each of these scripts is uh, approximately about uh, 50 lines long, or uh, on average. EGPG commands. Uh, the set of uh, commands and options of EGPG uh, is uh, well structured and intuitive. There are commands for working with files, for signing and encryption, managing the key, uh, managing contacts, uh, and other extra commands. The commands for uh, working with files are these. EGPG seal, and then a file, and then uh, a list of recipients. Uh, EGPG open, uh, and then the file which is uh, sealed, which is the, uh, the reverse option of sealing. Uh, EGPG sign uh, to get the signature for a file, and then EGPG verify uh, to verify the signature of, of a file. Uh, EGPG key commands. Uh, there are commands to generate a new key or fetch an existing one, to backup and restore the key, to split and join the key, to generate a revocation certificate, to revoke the key, to, to delete the key, etc. EGPG contact uh, commands. The commands about uh, contacts include uh, commands to search and re uh, receive uh, contacts from the key server uh, network, to export and import from files, to fetch from existing GPG, EGPG uh, di directories, uh, to certify and trust, etc. Managing the keys. Uh, to keep things uh, simple, eGPG supports only one private key per directory or for environment. Uh, but there are ways to use several keys if needed. For example, uh, it can be done by using several eGPG directories or configurations which can work in parallel, in parallel and in independently of each other. This is a design decision and uh, is on purpose. Uh, not only for simplicity, but also because when you need more than one key, you usually use them in different contexts. So it makes uh, more sense to keep and manage them separately and independently of each other, which could also help to avoid any confusion or mistakes uh, when using them. eGPG extends the features of GPG. Uh, eGPG com combines uh, the features of GPG with external tools or commands uh, in order to achieve better results or to be more user-friendly. For example, uh, when making the backup of uh, the key, the output is produced as a, PDF, as a PDF file with a 2D barcode, which can be printed on a paper and stored away on a safe place. Later, this can be easily scanned back uh, to digital format and restored. 
Uh, this is achieved by exporting the key from uh, GPG in uh, ASCII armor format, then using a bunch of Linux uh, commands and tools like uh, QR encode and convert uh, to convert it to the proper PDF format. There is nothing that cannot be done manually or with uh, a, sh a shell script, but eGPG already automates things for you in a, in a single command so that uh, you can immediately, uh, immediately take advantage of best practices and uh, recommendations. Another example is printing the fingerprint of the key as a 2D barcode and picking it up from the camera. This uh, can sim simplify uh, this can simplify the exchange of uh, keys in mobile phones if people have uh, uh, phys uh, physical uh, contact. For example, in a meeting, one of them can show the code uh, on the screen and the other one can scan it from the camera and automatically fetch the, deta the details from the key server. Or the fingerprint can, can be printed as a 2D barcode on a business card uh, and scanned, scanned from uh, there. Yet another example is moving the main key that is used for signing and uh, certification to a dongle, USB flash drive uh, for uh, portability and security. For example, the USB flash dri uh, drive uh, can be encrypted. Uh, this is done with the external command eGPG key to dongle. So uh, it can also be done uh, by giving several uh, Unix commands, but uh, with a single command it's much more easier. Splitting the key. You can split the key into three partial uh, keys so that any two of them can be combined to recreate the original key, but a single one uh, is not enough. So a single partial key is not enough. Uh, EGPG takes advantage of this to save a partial key on the local machine and another partial on a dongle, USB flash drive uh, or removal, removable device. The third partial key is used as a backup to, reco to recover the full key in case that the dongle or the computer is lost and it can be stored, for example, on a cloud account. Uh, splitting the key into partial keys makes key management safer and more uh, robust. Uh, in case that you lose the dongle, the key is not deconspired because uh, a single partial key is not enough to reconstruct the full key. The same goes on for uh, backup uh, partial key. You can store it on cloud, for example, and if somebody, if somebody manages to get it, they still cannot get your key. Similarly, if you uh, lose the dongle or change uh, the PC, you still can recover the key using the remaining partial key and the backup uh, partial. And this can be done with these commands, uh, eGPG key split, uh, eGPG key, key join, and eGPG key uh, recover. eGPG can uh, work uh, on any platform. The file platform uh, dot shell contains a couple of functions that uh, can be platform dependent. The platform uh, is detected automatically and these functions are overridden with the right implementation for the current uh, platform. So eGPG is flexible enough to potentially work on uh, any platform. However, currently it has been uh, tested only on uh, Ubuntu and Debian. eGPG is customizable and extensible. Uh, if eGPG doesn't fit your workflow, you can adapt and extend it to fit your way of doing things. Uh, you can also share your extensions with others in the form of external uh, commands. The file uh, customize.shell can be used to redefine and customize some functions without having to touch the code of the main script. External, uh, comma, uh, an external command named example can be overridden or defined by adding the file uh, cmd underscore example dot shell uh, on uh, directory eGPG dir. And for an, external, uh, for an external command, the script will look in several places and uh, the first one that it finds, it finds will, uh, will pick up. eGPG enables uh, scripting. I think that it is time, it is time to stop writing uh, detailed tutorials with the uh, best practices on uh, how to use GPG on certain situations. Uh, write instead scripts in eGPG or some other framework that automate these processes. GPG itself does not facilitate writing such uh, scripts and eGPG uh, tries uh, to improve this. EGPG uh, criticism. Uh, the EGPG critics uh, have expressed their concerns that since EGPG is just a wrapper script to GPG, it is too fragile. 
This is so because uh, the GPG command uh, line uh, was meant to be an interactive tool, not a streamlined tool that can be easily combined with other tools. As such, uh, its output format can change at any time and even small changes uh, can break uh, GPG. Uh, a possible defense argument, uh, so the improvements that uh, can be done uh, uh, are proposed as a, a Google Summer of Code project, uh, which you can find on this web page, and some of the improvements are, are these. Thank you for your attention. If you have any comments, you can contact me on this email address.